Today, I don't have enough time tonight. I have another service in the evening. Share the broadcast. I'm just going about one hour with you. God bless you. Greetings from America. God bless you. 17, 3 minutes past 17 p.m. 17 hours for that matter. I want you to share the broadcast. Let's get to let's get to 50 and more. And I want to bless you. I want to build myself to be a blessing in your life. I don't have enough time today. We'll go straight to the word. And after the word, I'll pray for you. I'll allow myself to be in a blessing for you. So if you share it right away, share it right away. 28, 26 people. Three says, All right. God bless you. God be the glory. God bless you. Oh, yeah, can you me? All right, so that works on the perfect part two. I'll be with you. So, share the broadcast. God bless you. Ben, how are you? <laughs> so, you have been advising me. How, what should I do? Should I close it or open it? In the 36 says, Oh, God, God. 
Gifty Dazzy, I hope you're fine. God bless you. Imela, Imela. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, boy. Thank you, Jesus. Imela. Kaka. Oh, yeah, So, how's the view of America? Maybe. Yeah, how's the view of America? So, this is America. America. It's a beautiful place that all God is visit. And I know that one day you're going to be there. I know that one day you'll be here. Yes, I know that one day you'll be here. So share the broadcast. I know that one day you're going to be here. So share the broadcast. Share the, okay, so I think that if I turn it this way, it's going to be better. Okay. This way. Is it this way better? Okay, so I'll turn it this way. Or uh, this way. Is it this way? Okay. All right, so that means that I have to turn it that way. All right, so I'll do it this way. I think this one is much better. Yeah, we don't have a good time right now. But yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. God bless you. I think that's much more better. Thank you so much. <coughs> God bless you. Right, I think this is better. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is better. All right. All right, so God bless you. Says love. Right, so we don't have enough time today. We go straight to business. Alright, so God bless you. The love favor, the love and grace around you. Also, Richard Blessing, my pastor in America. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Let's pray. Share the broadcast. Uh, well, America looks good on you, Prophet. God bless you. Thank you. And you must turn. Papa, please, you got to talk to me tonight. So, share it to 50 people and let's start the session with our daughter. So, also for Richmond, Richard, I want you to time me. I'm about to bring the word of God. After 20 minutes, Alex me, and let me start going deep prophetically. So, good evening to you. Uh, wherever you're connected from across the world, good evening from America, from Atlanta, Georgia. God bless you so much. The Lord favor you. This morning, we have a very good time. I don't know the time. Wherever you're connected, if it's clear, can you hear me? Is it clear? I don't know. Today, and I just closed from first service, and it was great. We, I preached about diligence. Right, God bless you. Julian, I hope you are fine. You are keeping well. Pray for me. Okay, blah, blah, blah. God bless you and keep you fine. I bless you, Phillips. So, if you can hear me clearly, I want to know. And time me, my administrators in Ghana, I want you to time me 20 minutes. You are late me that it's 20 minutes. Then I'm just spending one hour because I have second service again. I'm going to prophesy, preach again. So, Godwin Imba, one of my favorite guys. I, I, read, uh, I read your writings a lot. <coughs> I read your writings a lot. God bless you. God bless you so much. I read your writings a lot, Godway. I read your writings a lot. I read I read your writings a lot. I read your writings a lot. So God bless you. Favor the Lord be great. Clang some. God bless. So I'm starting. Yesterday, let's pray. Father, thank you. I bring myself before the cross. Use me to be a bless, be a blessing. In Jesus' name. I want to appreciate. But I know you have been seen a lot about me. Right? I want to I want to appreciate my spiritual father, Apostle Amakwe, you know, so my senior man of God, my senior pastor, uh, Apostle Fifi. God bless you for giving the opportunity to preach on your elevated platform. I don't take it for granted at all. And I thank all the members. Today, jump pack. The room was full. The room was full. People got to stand outside and this can only be God. This can only be God. I was a little bit late because the driver delayed, but we had a good time tonight. And let the administration, 
let the administrator, the handlers, fly the address if you're in Georgia tonight is the last day I want you to come and enjoy from the grace upon my life and like it's clear God bless you in Cape Coast Wilson God bless you to my church members to the administration and the resident pastor and all the team in uh, Ghana thank you so much for a glorious work today this morning in Ghana I watch I watch them we are good we are fine I'm also working here uh, God bless you. I wish all of you all this very week. God bless you. God bless. I love the energy. I love everybody's doing well. All the prayer warriors, all the pastors, everybody, the resident pastor, all the pastor. God bless you. So, like I said, yesterday I started a, t a topic on this week. We're going to fast. And um, we every week, every day I'll come on, like, on air to be a blessing in your life. And this is my number. My number is there. If you want to call me after the session, during the session, you can call me. In the next 15 minutes, I'm talking about the works of a prophet. The works of a prophet. Yesterday, I mentioned among other things that the prophetic is, today's message was powerful. That's great. I've, uh, yes, I've, uh, yesterday, I mentioned among other things that the prophetic is one of, I love to see a prophet. God bless you. All right, let me focus. Uh, okay, so uh, I, I mentioned yesterday among other things that uh the prophetic is one of the first Kings chapter 5, 1 to 7. I want you to put in a listen for me. Papa Amanda, I read all. So yesterday I mentioned that the prophetic is one of the most misunderstood subjects. They're one of the misunderstood, one of the misunderstood subjects in the kingdom work. The prophetic is one of the uh, office that it's is very confusing. The prophetic is one of the office that a lot of people there's a lot of prejudice about it there is a lot of paranoid para people are paranoid about the prophetic uh, people are very ignorant about the prophetic show the broadcast 200 show the broadcast 200 if you're in canada i'm coming to canada with fire very soon if you're in liberia by the grace of god i'm coming to liberia very soon this very i'm coming to liberia if you are in sierra leone i'll be in sierra leone with my team the last week of november if you're in Boligantanga, Bongo, I'll be there in September. If you're in Takrade, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there in the last week of August. I'm going to be in Takrade. And I salute you. I bless all men of God. Thank you so much. If you're in Texas, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'll be in Texas. I'm in Atlanta right now. Tomorrow, I'll be in Texas by the grace of God. And Tuesday, I'll be in Texas. Then the same Tuesday, I'll come back to New York. And New York, we're going to have a good time. And if you're in Maryland, I'll be I'll be in Maryland. Yeah, I have a, I have a meeting in Maryland. I have a meeting in Chicago. I have a meeting in Florida. I have a meeting in Florida. So God keep opening doors, and we bless God for what He's doing. We bless God for what He's about to do. God bless you. So people of God, I'm saying that the works of the prophets, the prophetic is a very mis mis it's very mystical. It's very mystical. The prophetic is very mystical. And I'm going to use just two minutes, get a pen and paper, and let's go into the prophetic. You see, yesterday somebody told me, called from Ghana, and said that he has been ordained as a prophet. And I asked him that, who ordained you? And he said that a theological institution ordained him as a prophet. I'm telling you, you cannot be ordained by a theological institution and you become a prophet. The prophetic is not taught. The prophetic is caught. The prophetic is not taught. The prophetic is caught. The prophetic is a spirit. The prophetic is not tutorials. The prophetic is not seminar. You cannot be going to seminars and be a prophet. You cannot be, as it were, uh, somebody. You appreciate that even before someone becoming a prophet, the early the high priest must tell him to go and lie before the temple of God, before the tabernacle, the altar of God. And you hear God himself uh, having an encounter with him. And when he has an encounter with God, he should say, when he hears the voice, he says, speak it for thy servant hear it. So the prophetic, a teacher cannot give you a better understanding of the prophetic. A pastor cannot, and I say without any fear or doubt, if you have not operated in the prophetic, like some of us by the message of God have operated in the prophetic over the years, you cannot understand the modus operandi of the prophetic. A teacher can attempt it. An apostle operates in the prophet, so an apostle can attempt it. But watch me, people of God, like I told those who followed me yesterday, that I came to America, and when I went to trim my hair on Friday, 
there were three sessions. We have a session that stream only in the same house, in the same barbering salon. We have a, a session that stream only white people, colored people. And we have a session that stream black people. And we have a session that stream Rasta people, people that have lost and Rastafira, blah, blah, blah. What am I trying to say? What I learned from the barbering salon is that a black man was the one streaming the black man. And the white man was the one trimming the white man. And the Rasta, the man who has locks on, who was called Santana, because I gave him a prophetic word. And all the young guys who want to be prophets, who want to be deep, who want to be very, whose ministry, they don't, they want their ministry to stand the taste of time. I want you to follow these teachings. I want you to follow these teachings are begun by the inspiration of God. So as you can be deep in the prophetic. Because listen, you cannot just read a book and become a prophet. You cannot just go to seminars and become a prophet. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. The fundamentals of being a prophetic or operating a prophet or understanding the prophetic, it takes a prophet, somebody who has been wired, somebody who has heard the voice of God, have encounters like, I'm not saying I'm the only person, there are a lot of us to really talk about the prophet, then talks about the works of the prophet. I cannot talk about the works of the evangelist. I can attempt to talk about it, but I cannot talk about it like the way uh, evangelists, uh, some born straight away, uh, like evangelists, Apia Kofi, Reverend Apia Kofi. He's, I was watching him, I think he's in Rwanda, he's one of the countries. He is an evangelist. I can attempt to talk about it a bit, but I cannot go very deep very very deep about that so it's the same as the office of the prophet listen to me wherever you are over the well i want you to disregard the misinformation about prophet the misinformation about the prophetic and welcome yourself welcome prophets in your environment welcome the prophetic because the works of the prophetic is very sweet the words of the prophet is for your deliverance is for your safety is for your longevity it is for your prosperity it is so as everything the lord has said and enshrined in the holy book becomes your benefits praise god so it then brings me let's share the broadcast god bless you sally aj how are you god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you so much so it then brings me to the words of the prophet so today the man that came to pick me from the hotel to the church uh as soon as he came to the hotel and he came to pick me as soon as i looked at him the lost mentioned his name to me reginald kofi that is what i saw as soon as he came to my hotel as soon as he gave me attention i had it on my chest reginald kofi so i kept quiet then whilst i was sitting in the car whilst he was driving me to the church the lord began ministering to me about him about blah 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 blah. So during the service, those of you watching, it's it's the replays on my page. You can go and watch it later. I picked him during the service when I, after I preached, after we prayed, when we got to the prophet, and I said, I'm seeing Reginald. He said he's called Reginald, and I'm saying I see Friday, Sunday, and he said he is Kofi. Then I told him about some deep things. Watch me. This young man, his sister, very blessed young lady in America here. The sister was in a prophetic atmosphere. Then a prophet was working. And the prophet said, I want you to share the broadcast. Let's get to 120. Let's get to 120. And handless, as soon as it's 20 minutes, God bless you. It's more than 120. God bless you. There is somebody you are watching right now. The Lord is saying, I have a problem with your bones. And I want you to use emojis. I want you to connect, use the emoji. You are having a problem with your bones. I want to pray with you. There is a problem in your bones. Somebody are watching, there is a problem in your bones. There is somebody are watching from Canada. The Spirit of God is telling me that you are believing God for a release of your documents. You are believing God for a release of your document. And also there is somebody watching me. The God is telling me that you are believing God to open a door for you. So as you bring your better heart to to this part of the world. I'm ready to pray with you. I'm ready to add my voice to it so as it will come to pass. So, child of God, uh, this gentleman said that the sister, the prophet, while the prophet was ministering, uh, said under unction that he see a dead body or a coffin entering the church. So, the long story cut short. After the service, they all prayed. After the service, the last, like every man of God does, every good man of God must preach the word, manifest the power of God, and take offering. 
what makes you a good man of God are three things. One, one of the things that makes you a good man of God is that one, you preach the power of God, you preach Jesus, you preach the gospel. Matthew chapter, Mark chapter 16, verse 20, you preach the gospel. After preaching the gospel, you demonstrate the power of the living Jesus. After demonstrating it, you commit the people of God to sacrifice. So the lady came out. Listen, please listen, because I'll be finished right now. The lady came out. The lady came out. When the lady came out, they were about 13. The prophet of God prayed for everybody. Listen, those of you that play and joke with prophets, those of you that play and joke with prophetic promptings, listen and listen very well. The works of the prophets. The works of the prophet. Tomorrow, I'll have time. We'll go very deep. But today, I'm going to rush a bit. This lady, the 13 people, she was one of them. And the prophet prayed for all of them. Whilst they were giving the money. But the lady was the one whom the prophet was staying with. The prophet is from Germany, according to what the guy told me in about one hour or two hours ago. When the prophet came from Germany to US, the prophet was staying with the lady. Listen to me. The man of God, the church that was hosting the, the, the man of God, the lady goes to the church. So the lady offered to give the prophet a room, a room, a shelter. So when the prophet was praying for the 13 people that came out, praise him the Lord. I salute all the men of God. I salute all of you. I love all of you. Keep on keeping on. You'll be better. you do well. God bless you with all your mistakes, your imperfections. God got you. Don't change the covenant. Be consistent with Jesus. He will fix you. So people of God, this lady did not, did not ask her where the prophet was praying. She just put the money on the altar and she left. So when she left and she wanted to sit down by her brother whom I picked I mentioned his name today. The brother said, he asked the sister that, why is it that all the 13 people, the prophet has prayed for all of them, but you, you, are, you came to say that I didn't let the prophet pray for you. And hear what the lady will say. The lady said, but the prophet is staying in my house. Listen, the guy is telling me that it was an all night. And right after the all night, around 4.35 a.m., they were going to the car park, and all of a sudden, he saw that the sister is changing in america here the sister is changing people of god there and then he started calling 911 ambulance there and then within 5 10 20 minutes the sister has died what am i trying to say the sister was closer to the anointing the sister was closer to the prophet but the sister was familiar and the familiarity killed the sister no, I'm just from church. I know that some of the people are watching me. This is a prophecy I was inspired to give today in church. Listen to me. The works of the prophet does not like familiarity. The prophet, man of God, bless. I need your prayers. God bless you. The prophet can be your husband. The prophet can be your son, your daughter. The prophetess can be your daughter. The prophet can be your friend. The prophet can be your fiancé, but the works of the prophetic, the work of the prophet, does not like familiarity. When you are familiar with the altar of God, with spiritual things, when you are familiar with the oil and the mantle and the mandate of the prophetic or prophetism, it does not respond to you. So the lady has died a stupid and a useless death, all because she was familiar. She went to the front there. She went to the altar with a sacrifice. And the brother said, Prophet, I can see clearly. The last check my sister wrote was the check that she put on the altar. But whilst the prophet was praying for the 13 people, she told herself that, I know the prophet. She told herself that, ah, while the prophet is even eating in my house, I see him eating. Watch me. The works of the prophetic. The West or the prophet. Uh, Sharif, uh, God bless you. I appreciate it. God bless you, Sharif. God bless you so much. So, I am saying, there are a lot of prophets in Ghana. There are a lot of prophets in your closet, around your environment, around your, your wherever you find yourself. A prophet, you can be older than a prophet. I thank God for that. You can be experienced than a prophet. I thank God for that. But when the Spirit of God comes on that man, that vessel called a prophet, a prophetess, the prophetic does not like familiarity. That is why a lot of prayer warriors who are familiar, they don't do well. I, can, I, I, I have never seen any 
prayer warrior who is a millionaire because prayer warriors are familiar I've never seen the people who are closer to the prophets. A lot of people who are closer to prophet die before their time. A lot of people who are closer to the altar die. Their life wither. You can be closer to a prophet. You can be closer to a man of God. You can be closer to an altar and your life will wither. One place that causes withering of life, one place that causes unproductiveness of life is the altar of God when you are familiar with the altar. I'm talking about the works of the prophets. Gehazia was familiar with the prophetic. Gehazia's father, all the kings of Israel, they were scared of the Gehazia's father. Why should Gehazia have leprosy? When your father carried double portion of your grandfather's anointing. Why? Because Gehazia was familiar. Oh, from church. We went to a local bar, local restaurant, and I was standing there. I, I, I was standing there, very cool. And I saw, it's, it's a Ghanaian restaurant. I saw a lot of people. I saw a lot of people. Some rushed to me. Some rushed to me. Came for my number, blah, blah, blah. And I saw two Nigerian guys who asked the Ghanaians, I just, I just came into my room, who asked the guys, who rushed, the people rushed more or less who came around me, that who is he? And they told, one lady told them that he's a prophet in Ghana. Do you know what the Nigerian did? They came to pay for my food. They came to pay for my food. They came to pay for the food I just ate. I just broke my fast. So you know what? The Ghanaian came for my number. The Ghanaian came, we were conversing. We were conversing. We were conversing. And normally me, I'll converse with you. But the Nigerian, just now in America, when they realized that I was a prophet, they paid for my food. So the Ghanaian, most Ghanaians are familiar with prophets. They talk about prophet, abuse prophet, abuse the vessels of God. That is why our country is not doing well. Madam, that is why you are not doing well. Sister, that is why you are not doing well. And if you don't change that mentality, you will still not do well. Because the prophetic does not like familiarity. That's the only point I'm establishing today. Quite Mr. Pong, God bless you. You can a, a prophet can be your classmate. There are people that call my line, and when they call my line, they say I want to talk to Nigel Gazi. Nigel Gezi can help you, but Prophet Nigel Gezi can help you. When you put value on the oil, when you put a demand on the prophetic mantle, it responds. So the works of the prophet, one thing that it does, the prophetic works, the prophetic is lethal, it is explosive. I'm a personal a, a, a beneficiary of the prophetic. The prophetic does not like familiarity. I thank God that you gave back to the prophet. I thank God that you fed the prophet. But when the Spirit of God come on him, today in Atlanta, there's a guy that I picked the wife by the prophetic. And, 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 and when I picked the wife, I mentioned it said by the prophetic. I said, I see something, blah, blah, blah. And I said, who is Tio? And he said, my husband is called Tio Floss. When the husband came, he was come to play big boy. When you play big ball before the prophet, you go down. I'm ending. If you play big ball before the prophetic, you go down. Because the prophetic is not your age mates. We can be classmates, but we are not age mates. Child of God, this afternoon, I don't know wherever you are, whether you are in Uganda, South Africa, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana, any part of the world you are. The prophetic is to advantage. Amos 3 verse 7. He said, the Lord God will not do anything unless he has revealed it to his man servant, the prophets. Some of you, you don't hear about prophets. That is why the devil attack you in your dreams. That is why you have kidney cancer and all those, those sicknesses. Because you don't hear about prophets. Most of you, you are paranoid about prophets. Because of what somebody said. I thank God for what they are saying. But this Bible speaking the other day, Apostle Paul said, what I've experienced, be a personal experience. Be a personal experiencer. 
The fact that you met one wrong prophet does not mean all of that wrong. The fact that you met one prophet who made a mistake. We all make mistakes. Nurses make mistake. Pilots make mistake. You, you make mistake. So why are you so paranoid? Because one prophet made a genuine mistake, which is common among all men. Sometimes God sometimes does allow men to make mistake. It is in the Bible. Goma was allowed, was, was, was a prophet, a prophet Uzziah was allowed to go and marry a prostitute. I'm teaching, I'm bringing you to a place. A prophet, God can create an atmosphere around a prophet. That is so smelly. That is so muddy. That is so ungodly. Just to test your faith. Just to test your faith. You know, sometimes when we are in our element, we can mesmerize you. Sometimes when we are in our element, we can play God. So sometimes God can intentionally create an atmosphere around the man of God. Around the servants. So as he alone can be God. But still, don't be familiar. Don't be familiar. The Lord bless you today. The Lord be gracious to you. The works of the prophetic, that's not like familiarity. That is the message I brought you today. If you have a son that is a pastor, don't call him by his name. If your husband that is a pastor, don't call him. Don't put Anna. Put Anna. The Bible speaking says, for they that preacher deserve double Anna. Double Anna. When you honor the prophet, it works. I'm a personal experiencer of the prophetic. And I pray that wherever you are, it works for you. I pray that wherever you are this afternoon in America, it works for you. The Lord bless you, the Lord favor you, the Lord be gracious, and the Lord be kind unto you. So, the prophetic, my father, my master, Jesus, I brought here. I've never been familiar with him. Sometimes closer to him. I hear that his mouth stinks. Everybody, anybody who wakes up in the morning, your mouth will stink. But I don't look at how stinky his mouth smells or others artists where it is. No, sir. It doesn't work. One thing that is killing the Ghanaians is that we are familiar with our prophets. You see, a journalist, that's nothing. He, he or she has not achieved anything. They'll sit on radio and run prophets down. And you see Christians applauding them because they don't know the word of God. Applauding them. Sharing their posts. Because they don't know the word of God. All over the world, Ghana has the best, one of the best prophets. The tree of prophetism is in Ghana. But why is it that we cannot lift it across the world? Why? Because our people are familiar with the prophetic. My name is Nigel Gazi. I came here to teach you that don't be familiar with your pastor. Don't be familiar with the man that prays with you, with the man that prays for you. Don't be familiar. The prophetic does not like familiarity. The author of God does not like familiarity. The Bible speaking the other day, there was a man that felt he knew God. And he took and carried the ark of God. You can't help God. You think that you are the one who is taking care of the finances, the bills of the church, so you, you talk to the man of God anyhow, you disrespect. No, it doesn't work like that. You die, you die. Check the life of people who are closer to anointed people. Strangers come, dig the well, enjoy for the well, from the well, but their life does not do well. Their life is not a good looking life because they play and they are familiar with anointing. This evening, the Lord bless you. If as I'm talking, I'm teaching, if you want to ask me a question, you can write it. I'll answer you. And I have another evening service, so I'll be rushing. I'll be running away right now. I don't. If you hear me talk to my superiors, you see honor, respect, decorum, diplomacy, because the oil of God works where there is no familiarity. Listen to me. Jesus told Peter, you are the rock. On you will I build my church and the gate of hell cannot prevail against it. But let's look at Peter. He wrote only two epistles or books. First Peter and second Peter. The people that are closer to anointed men, most of them, as a result of familiarity, 
they don't do much. Look at Paul, who never had a personal experience with a physical encounter with Jesus. He just only heard about him. Paul did much than the one that was close. Sometimes closeness can kill you. Avoid being so close to anointed people. Close your ears, close your eyes, close your knee, your nose. Your, that is what all your less. That is what it is. You can change it. With all the anger of Moses, God used him. With all the anger of Moses, he said, they have never seen any meek prophet like Moses. You can't change it. It is what it is. You can't change it. The Bible says we should go back to the old foundation and learn from the old foundation. And I'm teaching the younger generations. Don't be familiar with your pastor. Some of you, you respect politicians that you're men of God. You respect people who don't invest directly. They, you know, you know it's, it's amazing. This generation. This generation. I am telling you, Paul was far. Sometimes, don't get close. If you know that you can't, you, you, no, don't get close because that anointing can kill you. I hear people say, oh, I was an armor bearer and what I saw about this prophet, what I saw about this man of God, I will not go to church. Who cares about you not going to church? That will not stop the move of God. That will stop the hand of God on his prophet and his man servant. Listen to me. With all the drunkenness of Noah, the Lord said, I will walk with him. He said, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. And I have called Jacob in him. With the, in him, the Bible says, and the scepter shall not leave Israel to say, look out. He said, the authority, the scepter shall not leave until Shiloh comes. He said, I'll bless whom I'll bless, and I've cursed and rejected who I've cursed and rejected. Ladies and gentlemen, those who are closer, the chief officers, look at them, most of them, they don't do well. Most of the people who spend time around the altar, they don't do well. Why? Because of familiarity. You can never be at the same rank with your father. You can be richer than your father in the Lord. You can be famous and popular than your father in the Lord. By the covenant of God, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 7. It said, it takes the blessed to bless the less. And you cannot change it. You cannot change it. Because scriptures cannot be broken and rewritten. Your problem is that you are too familiar. I said, with all the drunkenness of Noah, when he cursed harm and shame, it went. One of the days... After all night, I went to visit a senior man of God in around the Sphinx area. I'm ending here. God bless you. The Lord favor the Lord. And some of you must repent from your hearts. You must repent from your hearts. Before I say this and I end the message, I'm going to take the call. A guy called me. Maybe he's watching. When I came to America last week, he called me. He said, Prophet, I called you from Ghana. And when I called, you didn't listen to me. All that, as soon as you picked the call, said, you told me that November, you see me having a heart attack, heart attack. So, he said, when he, he went off the phone, he insulted me. He's called Sovereign. He said, he insulted me. He said, what kind of prophet is this? And he said, at that time, two Ghanaians were attacking me. So, me to attack you some, I insulted you with fake accounts. I said, I thank God for your life. He said, 21st of November, last two years, I'm a footballer. I just went, I was going, he's called Sovereign, he's on Facebook. He said, I just went, I was going to play football. And on the pitch, the next minute, I was in emergency room. The doctors in America couldn't find out what was wrong with me. So I remembered your prophecy that I have a problem with my heart. The, the way the guy used it, that he said, I repented from my heart. Then after he said, within 30 minutes, he was fine. To today, he has never had any problem again. Watch me. Don't be familiar with a prophetic word. A prophetic word is deep. Don't be familiar with the mantles of prophets. Don't be familiar with the pronouncements and the speakings of prophets. The talkings of prophets. Don't be familiar because it works. Some of you, you are too familiar. First, the Bible says that, and the prophet said, oh, you can go, go to, the, to the sea closer, closer to your place. 
Go and bath. And the king replied, Are there not better rivers? Sometimes what the prophet will tell you, you might be you might, you might be wiser than the prophet. Some of you despise men of God. Your children will be despised. And you will not do it. We have people that despise men of God. We have a generation that despise men of God. If you despise anything closer to God, I'm scared of that. Anything closer to God, I am scared of anything. I am I, I dare not to be familiar with anything closer to God. If I was to be married, I tell you that it's, I'm very careful. If as soon as there are people that come and sit before me for counseling, and as soon as I get to know that they are sons and daughters of men of God, I treat them with extra caution. You are child of God. You don't know. I'm telling you because I'm a spiritual person and I'm deep in the prophetic. Think that has been dedicated to God. We don't be familiar with it. Don't be familiar with the things that have been dedicated to God. Samuel became Samuel because he was dedicated to God. This evening, the Lord bless you, the Lord favor you. Don't be familiar. Some of you, people have died through my, my workings as a prophet because they took what I said for granted. They took it for granted. There are ladies that have died because they didn't take the, what God told me about them seriously. Oh, because they despise me. Oh, this guy, this guy, they despise me. And if you despise me, I have no problem. I don't know you. We only met in the line of my work as a prophet. If you smack me, I don't care about that. But you die. The Bible says that he that does not listen will die. And Proverbs chapter 18 says, My son, my daughter, listen to instruction and climb on things so as you can be blessed. Listen to me, child of God. Don't be familiar. Gone were the days. We're not familiar with our fathers. We're not familiar with spiritual things. But this generation, this microwave generation, people are familiar with the things of God. Praise and worship. She's sitting down. Well, she knows that from Eyawe, Eyawe, Kumama, we are going to praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So she has become familiar. Praise time. Oh, everybody lift up your, blow your trumpet. She will not do it. She has become familiar. This evening, thank you for your time. 350 people online. God bless you. God bless you so much. I want you to share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Some of you, the Spirit of God is telling me that you have to repent in your heart. Repent. Listen to me as I'm wrapping up here. Eh? As I'm wrapping up, there was a radio station in Ghana called Choice FM. And when I was young, <clears throat> one of the presenters on Choice FM attacked the church. Her business is that every afternoon, because of she wants she want viewers, listeners, and you know anything about men of God sells. But the devil will infiltrate people because anything about men of God, anything about the church cells. So there was a woman of God, that woman. That after they brought her to me, she has stroke. And I told the woman, you have to repent. But the year 99, 98, 2000, you attack men of God. Listen to me. I've come your way. I saw in my dream, Kofi said, God bless you. I've come your way and God bless you, my handless. Because I have evening service, so I'm, I'm rushing to go back. Don't be familiar. Don't be familiar. You will thank me one day if you take this advice. Don't be familiar. You see, when you meet a Nigerian or Ghanaian, and you're a man of God, and you say, God bless you, the response of the Nigerian is different from the Ghanaian, because Ghanaians are familiar with the spiritual things. Ghanaians are familiar with spiritual things. Don't be familiar. Yeah, don't be familiar. Your wife is a woman of God. Don't be familiar with her. Your sister is a woman of God. Don't be familiar with her. But when the hand of God comes on somebody, that person is different. And that person can be a change in your life. The Bible says, wherever the ark of God was, there was prosperity. Prophets are ark of God. Prophet, men of God, will bring God. We bring good covenants. So the Bible is speaking that they say anybody anywhere you go, if they don't receive you all, well, that's the feet of your dust. He said that he said that wash off your feet and release a curse on them. I'm not here to curse you. 
I'm here to bless you. To the young generation, if you don't like the man of God, I bless God for that. Don't be part of anything negative. If you don't like the church, I, I bless God for that. But don't be anything. Don't don't be. Don't be. Don't be. Two things my mother told me, and I still keep it. Is that Kwabina? Two things to avoid in life. Two things to avoid in life. Don't say what you cannot do. And the second one is that don't have any problem with anything spiritual, whether the devil or God. That's what my mother told me when I was a young man. And I work with it. I'm still with it. The Lord bless you this evening. The Lord show you mercy. A child, Abena Dako, God bless you. Some of you, you can lie on the church. You can lie on men of God. You have to repent. Yes. As I'm ending, I'm ending up the message, look at the people who have stayed long in the church. They are like an old tree, but it doesn't bear fruit. Why? Because they have become familiar. We began the church with Prophet Nigel. We began the church with Pastor so so and so. We're Prophet so so. That is not mine. God doesn't care. I was telling the church in America that God is not a Christian. Jesus is not a Christian. Jesus is a spirit. And if you don't respond to the conditionalities and turn out of the spirit, the spirit will not respond. Listen to me. We know so much, but because of the kingdom, we have kept quiet. Sometimes, I know you know, I know you saw it, but keep quiet. Yes. Angels don't do the work of God. Supernatural entities don't do the work of God. They eat like you eat. They sleep like you sleep. They vomit like you vomit. I know you know that was right. It's not false report, but that is what it is. Keep quiet so that the oil can speak for you. Keep quiet so that the mantle can speak for you, so that the mandate can speak for you. Yes, you are too familiar. You are too familiar. That is why you are still barren. You are too familiar. That is why the same altar that answers people doesn't answer you. If I, the, the altar does not even know you. I'm telling you. I know you know. Do you know the things we know? When we used to pray, when I used to pray on the candle overhead. Do you know what I know? About men of God. But they are men before God. Get that. They were men before they became prophets. They were men. The Bible speaking the other day, it said we are made up of earthly vessels. Earthly vessels. We were made up of earthly vessels. And the excellency of God dwelleth in us. We were, we, I am made up of earthly vessels. That pastor you know, that prophet is known, is made up of earthly vessels. And the spirit of God dwells in him. When the spirit comes on him, he changes. He changes. The Lord bless you this evening. Proverbs 15 verse 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished. And who who breathe large lies, waiting on an encounter, Dion, you have the encounter. Yes, I know. Hey, you know what I know? You don't know what I know. Yes, I end you. Nana Benasa, how are you? Love you, my, my baby girl. Nana Bena, I love you. I Kumase. Greetings from America. God bless you. When I'm coming, I'll buy your perfume. Look for me for it. Mashaila, the papa who preached today at your church. Wow, love him. The papa who preached today at your church. Wow, love him. God bless you. Let me tell you something. As I'm ending the message. A lady in Nigeria went to a place with a man of God. And the lady saw the man of God drinking alcohol. And the lady said she will not go to church again. The man of God called people to go and talk to the lady to come back to church. The lady said she will not go to church again. Then the man of God told the lady that I pray that my weakness will not become your weakness. And I pray that my weakness will not become the weaknesses of your children. Today, the lady has become, <laughs> she has become a drunk, let me put that word, and all her children are drunkards. Watch me. Don't be familiar because you saw the nakedness of a vessel of God. Cover them. Protect them. I'm not saying, I'm not endorsing sin, no. No true prophet lives and stays in sin. I'm telling you. Fools don't become us. You can't just wake up one day and become us. No. It takes a process. And if you don't have it, you cannot give. It is what it is. 
I'm in America. How will I know people? I don't know anybody. Mentioning names, mentioning locations. This evening you can watch me. In the next three hours you can watch me. Four hours that you can watch. I'll be. I'll, I'm going to blast the place. It's the spirit. If you don't have it, you cannot give. It's simple as that. If if you don't have it, if you are not endowed, the Bible says, unless it is given to you from above, we don't fake it. James, I pray, God bless you. So I'm, I'm here. The world is sick. May the Lord heal the world. God bless you. Uh, or don't come. We don't endorse sin. Thanks. No, we are not endorsing sin. No. 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 The realm will pray from you. cannot live in sin or no pray from that realm. No. You cannot live in sin. No. So I'm done. Those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying. I'll be talking about the works of the prophet throughout the week. We are going to have fasting and praise. I'll come on the way every day. So what I'm saying is that don't be familiar. Some of you can fight with your man of God. Hold your man of God. That is dangerous. Repent in your hearts. You can exchange words with your man of God. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Don't be familiar. You can work with the present, but will not be recommended by him because you have become familiar with him. Okay. Kwesi Poku, God bless you. Kwesi, I, I, yesterday I prayed for you. God bless you. Kwesi Poku said, Inspector, I don't know his your rank now. He said, you can become, you can work with the present, but when you are familiar with him, he cannot promote you. I'm done. I'm telling you. Familiarity will kill you. I don't want to be familiar. No, 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 no. Almost every man of God has a weakness. God bless you. So I'm done, people of God. If you take it to help you. I'm here because uh, we were about 29 serving my spiritual father. Yesterday I was discussing with my other man of God. Those who were familiar with my father, almost all of them have died. That is why I had this inspiration to come and share with you. Those who were smacking and rubbing shoulders with my spiritual father, they have died. They have died and gone. Those of us who honored him, respected him. Sometimes he even rejected us, but still it's because of the covenant. We follow him. Sometimes you call me, bless me, I've not done anything. But that is what it is. You are a father. We have men that have worked with God. We have men that have covenant with God. Don't be familiar with them. But the oil senses. The oil senses. So I'm done. Open the man of God. The number you gave me not getting on WhatsApp. Yeah, I don't have a WhatsApp. I don't use. I have a specific WhatsApp but I don't, so please, you connect again. So God bless you, 345 people. Very awesome. I'm ready to pick your call. We're going to pray two prayers. So the last, for the purpose of those who just came, Kenneth Osei, how are you? You came, I pray for you. I see you married. God bless you. The same woman, God bless you. Quarista, don't be familiar with the man of God. Music director, don't be familiar with the man of God. Resident pastor, don't be familiar with your man of God. Church, don't be familiar with the man of God. It then transcend. Don't be familiar with your boss. Don't be familiar. Your boss is still your mate. The father, he opens up to you. I don't have time, so during the week, I'll come back again. Familiar with you. you uh, see, I tell people, when we meet at Genova CS, when we are talking at Genova CS, I have other friends across, across the world, when we are talking as leaders of church. I see, this generation... The young generation do not know anything because of familiarity. Let them know one thing. They will change right now. Open their eyes. Open their ears. Open them up to the, what they want to become. They will change right now. No. Sometimes you can be bigger than your spiritual father. But don't be familiar. You can be richer than him. You can be educated than him. But still, don't be familiar with him. I have never... But the message of God, I have so much enjoy. I have never stood head on, head on with my spiritual father before. No, sir. Who am I? Who am I? People are calling. Who am I? I have never. I have never. I have never. I have never to stand head on with my father. I was called in his oil. I was called in his oil. I was called in his oil. It is his oil. I was called in his oil. So who am I? Oh my God, Joseph Amwa. You can see young men of God disrespecting people who once upon a time they were their shelter and covering. You don't go for a young guy. You die. You crash. This is about covenant. It's about realm. It's about protocol. You see young men of God with a senior man of God who has invested in them. All of a sudden they say they will go. They want to leave their place. Women of God, they want to be, they, want, they have become familiar. You can never sow any seed for it to germinate. It's not a curse. It is what it is. If you don't live properly, 
You any seed you sow, <laughs> the devourer will destroy it. This ministry we're doing is deep. There are elements that come together for church to do well. You don't just wake up and plant a church or start a church. You can start a church by coming. It's longevity. For a church, you can start. There are elements. And if you don't follow what I'm teaching you, don't be familiar. So open your mouth. Bless God. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Please, what's the number? You are teaching. God bless. I'll come again. I'm rushing. I have to go and preach. I have to go and preach again. I'm going to preach. What will you be remembered for tonight? I'm very tired. If you are in Texas, I'll be in Texas tomorrow. We're going to have a good time in Texas. And I'll come back in New York on Tuesday. It's going to be awesome. If you are in Maryland, uh, expect you'll be seeing flyer this week in Maryland. If you are in Florida, be ready. I'm coming to Florida with the gospel of Jesus, with the power of the Holy Ghost. And if you're a man of God, feel very free, very comfortable. I'm not here to I start a church. I'm here to help with the little the Lord has given me. I'm not here. I'm too busy. I cannot start a church. I'm me, my grace. I'm a revivalist. I'm a prophetic revivalist. Mm? I come to your church to help you to revive. To revive. I'm a revivalist. I'm a prayer person. I do. I'm a prayer person. I'm the assignment I have. This after the Lord told me, He said, My son, I have not started with you. He said, I have not started with you. So those of you in Ghana, get ready. Apostle and other pastor, people should sit up. Because I'm not going to sit in Ghana. I'm not going to be in Ghana. I'll just come, go, come, pa, 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 pa. So be ready. Put on. Be ready. Make up your mind. The local church is for you people. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm not going to stay in Ghana. Open your mouth. Bless God for one minute. Say what? God bless you. God, open your mouth. Bless God for one minute. Give him praise. Whilst you are blessing him, I want you to call the telephone number right now. I want to be a blessing in your life. I'm a prophet of God. My name is Nigel. I'm a Ghanaian, but I'm in America right now. There is a word in my spirit that will change your life. God has anointed my lips, my tongue, my teeth to be a blessing. I see a lot of men of God online. I see a lot of women of God online. I appreciate all of you. AC, how are you? Good to see you. So open your mouth, bless him, give me prayer. So you can call me as you are thanking God. You can call me. Let's talk right now. I'm just using 30 minutes. I'm just using 30 minutes. So open your mouth as you are thanking God. Uh, Rachel, did you go to church today? Did you go to church today? So you can call me wherever you are. If you're in England, you can call me. If you're in America, you can call me. If wherever you are, you can call me right now. Okay. God bless you. Hello. Hello, brother. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. There is a God call of God. So yes, there is a call of God upon your life. I want you to get three bottles of olive oil. And uh, call me on Saturday and let me do a direction for you. Call me on Saturday. Okay. And I'm giving you a number. I want to, there's a call of God on you. I want you to connect and sow a seed, uh, a seed into that number. And what is on me will rub on you. There is a grace on me. It will rub on you. Okay. It, it will rub on okay. you. 0244. 09 My body is here, but my spirit is in a place like a shaman area. A shaman area in Accra, Ghana. I'm around the Nungwa a shaman area, the Tema area. And my spirit is moving into the Volta region of Ghana. Volta region of Ghana. I don't know what is there. I don't know the connection. But the Lord said, there's a call. Say again. I'm, I'm, I'm from, I'm from Volta region. Okay, I'm actually, okay, I'm, I'm seeing, sir, I'm, I'm coming. Say again, sir. Bada, 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 bada. I'm, I'm a pastor. You are a pastor, and you are from the yes, Volta I'm, region. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm at OT right now. You are at OT right now. God is going yes, to do I'm you well. So, so I want you to release, uh, I want you to connect to what is on me. There is a grace on me. There is a mantle I carry. Yes. There is an atmosphere yes. and a space I will pray for. I want you to connect yes. with me. So sow a seed into 0244 uh, 093032 right now and grace will locate you. And I want you to get yes. a bottle of oil as I've been inspired to say. And call me on yes. Saturday. Call me on Saturday. Yes. I'll work on it for you and there will be a change. Yes. There's going to be a turnaround. God bless you. Right. Hello. God bless you. Hello. 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 Hello, Yes, madam. How are you? Can you position yourself? Yes, yes. How are you? Hold on one second. I am Mrs. Mrs. Oh, Phyllis. Phyllis, at the same. Okay, let me say hi to Nathaniel. Nathaniel, say hi. Hi. Yeah, how are you? Hey, say so to me, Kasa. Oh, wow. Glory, 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 glory. Wow, they brought Nathaniel to me in Ghana from America. 
He was known to me. He was not able to talk. Now he can talk. Wow, glory. Now who was Tati Bay? Hello, mommy. Yes. Who was Tati Bay? Battery of Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, Meba Maryland. Meba Maryland. Into Meba Mumbra program. Nibi why? Uh, and Mumba, so I want to see, uh, I want to see Nathan. I want to give him a hug. And okay, maybe, okay, me. Okay, Papa, Papa, Papa. But the see how bad I'm to protect my Jesus, my mommy. I want to talk to him. Wow, Nathan, I love you. So I'll see you soon in Maryland. Is that okay? Okay, we'll see you. Right, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. Wow, wow, I'm excited about that. Wow, they brought Nathan to me. He was a little boy. And I pray for Nathaniel. Uh, wow, I'm happy. God bless. So you can call me and let's have a good time. Don't you lost me. It's my gift. It's my office. I'm working. So call me right now. I just have 20 minutes to go because I have to preach an appointment tonight. Call me right now. I'm Master Prophet Nigel Gazi. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. Call me right now and let's talk. Call me right now and let's talk. Tonight, I'll be at uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 370. 375, so the address is there. Somebody's calling. Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Good yeah, Pacho, my name is Mami. What to say? Pacho, Nyami Adumo. Okay, Nyami Insham. Pacho, oh yeah, Juma Bey. Pacho, hello? Yeah, Pacho, oh yeah, Juma Bey. What work do you do? Please, which work do you do? Oh, I've lost him. Okay, God bless. So keep calling. Hello, how are you? Hello? Hello. Yeah, madam, how are you? Evening. Good evening, madam. Fine, thank you. Right, what I believe in God for, what do you want God to do through me for you? For my business has to be up to the London, please. You want to go to London? Yes, please. Mm, okay, I will not mention your full name. Who is a guy around you? Nobody, please. Where do you come from? Um, Achiak, uh, who is Kuma? My father. Your father, please cannot speak up. Please speak up. That's your father. My father is Kumaho. Your father is Kumaho. Yes. Please. Okay. Uh, if I give you a prophetic instruction, can you follow it? Yes, please, I can. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Take this number 0244. 0244. Uh, 093032. 093032. 0244. 093032. Okay. Okay. I want you to uh, call that number. They will give you my WhatsApp number. And not okay. tomorrow. I'm very particular with in instructions. Not tomorrow. Tonight. It, it's, it's tonight in Ghana, but it's afternoon in America. I want you to send me a message on WhatsApp, right? And I'm going to pray for you. I have 10 years America. I have 10 years UK. So it, what I have, I can give you. Is that okay? Yes, please. Yes, I'm going to pray okay. for you. So do that right away. Who is Angela or Angel around? Who is Angela or Angel around you? Angela. Oh, you are Angela. Okay. Yeah. So we are good. I see a stamp. I see a stamp. It's going to be possible. So do that. I'll give you a prophetic direction and we are done. You will go to England. Which part of England do you want to go? I want to go to London. Which part of London? London? Which part of London? I don't know yet. Oh, you got to know there is London, not London. That's why. So we will take you from there. Is that okay? Yes, please. God okay. bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. All right, you. bless you. All right, so in the next few minutes, I'm going to leave you. I am going to leave you today. I don't have time. It's almost six here, and I have a lot of stuff to do. So talk to me. 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 You can call me. You can call me what I believe in God for. What I believe in God for. You can call me right away. God bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. Perfect. I see you. Adwa. God bless you. Who is that? God bless you. Hey, Ben. God bless you. Perfect. God bless you. Hey, perfect. I miss you. God bless you. Perfect. God bless you. Perfect. Somebody's calling. All right. Let me pick the call. Hello. Bless you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you doing? I'm very well. Okay. Talk to me. Who is a police officer around you? A security personnel around you? Um, I, none that I know of. For, okay, for can now. we have a good time? Can we? I don't have time. Rush. I have just ten minutes to go. Can we have a good time? Can I? Can I walk through the prophetic? 
Yes, yes, yes. So when I picked the call, my eyes open. I mean, America, my, my eyes open into Accra, CMB, opposite the Central Police Police Station. So I don't know whether I have a police case. I don't know what is happening. I don't know the problem. So talk to me. Um, for now, for now, please, I, I don't have any. What do you do? Um, I'm into banking. You are into banking. So, yes. I, so do you yeah. know where I saw? So, where I saw it, the NIB. NIB is opposite the Central Police Station. CMB, NIB, National Investment oh, okay. Bank. Okay. You see the profit we see in symbols. I get what I'm saying. Yes. And so, as soon as I paid, I, 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 my spirit entered into the CMB that area, and it's it's either CMB, NIB, and the police station. So. Uh, I want you to take this number and WhatsApp me, okay? I'm rushing because I have to go and preach tonight again. And WhatsApp me, and we'll take it from there. Is that okay? All right. Okay, we'll take that. this number, 0244. 0244. Okay. All right. Uh, 09 30 32. 09 30 32. 09 30 32. Call my administration, take my WhatsApp number, and come on my WhatsApp, okay? Yes, the Lord, is there All anything right. you want to say again? Is there anything you want to say? All right, bless you indeed. God bless you. I'll take the last caller. I'm rushing. I have to get ready because my time is very close, very limited. Hello, bless you. Hello. Yeah, how are you, sir? I'm fine, man of God. Right. How are you? You are fine, right? There, the Lord is telling me that there is a limitation over your life. Where you have to get to, you are not, you are not being able to get there. Where you have to get to, you are not able to get there. And the Spirit of God is telling me that you know a lot of people. You know a lot of people in higher places that should be a blessing to you. But the Spirit of God is telling me that you are not able to assess that. I want to help you by the prophet. Can I help you? Yeah, you can help the man of God. Yes, take this number, 244 0932 244-09-3032. I want you to WhatsApp me. I'm going to preach right now. I'll talk to you when I come back from my preaching. And I'll give you a prophetic okay. direction. Is that okay? Thank you, man of God. God bless. All the thanks to Jesus and Jesus only. God bless you. Thank yes, you so much. All right. So I watch me. Uh, I'm seeing prophetess Christy online in the UK. God bless you. So I'm running away, my people. I have to run away. Let me pick the last call. The last caller. The last caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. You good? You fine? Where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from New York. You are calling from New York. Yeah. What I believe in God for? What do you want God to do through me for you, please? To heal my daughter. To heal you. To heal my daughter. To heal your daughter. Yeah. Please position your, well, your cell, your network is bad. What's wrong with your daughter, please? Hello. Hello? Hello? What is wrong with your daughter? I'm, I've lost... Ooh. Hello? Ooh. I think that my, my best thing is going to go. Okay, I've lost... At, hello, she's still online. Hello, madam. My internet is going to go. Okay, I just fixed it. Okay. What's wrong with your daughter? Okay, I think that we've messed it. Uh, New York number, I will try. Let me, this is very urgent. The daughter is very, what's the last number? 3473. Three. I'll look for it and call back. So the lady, I'll call back, right? I'll call back. So let me leave you people. If you want to talk to me, I'll give you the last opportunity. I'm going. They gave me 640 and it's 6 here. So I have 40 minutes. I have to be quiet for 20 minutes to meditate on the, what I'm going to do by the Spirit of God. So I'll leave you here. I'm Nigel Gazi and I wish you well. I wish you prophets. Uh, Jose in Togo. God bless you. The voice of Togo. God bless you. I'm Nigel Gazi. Bro. Uh, God, God continue to increase your prophet. I tap into your prophet. God bless you. All right. So, hello. Hello. Yes, madam. Hi, Professor. How are you? I'm okay. Who is this? Your daughter. My daughter? Yes. Is it Maxine? <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Maxine. How are you? I'm okay. Mention your number for me. I'm Russian. Your number is what plus what? Plus 
Uh, are you on live? I'll text it to you. You will text it to me. Okay, so when you text it, add my name to it, okay? Okay. Where in right. US are you? I'm in the DMV. DMV? Why is the DMV? Master, I am known as America. Where is the DMV? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, sign? Oh, okay. They have to come to New York because I'll be in New York. I'm going to Texas tomorrow, but I'm coming to New York on Tuesday. Wouldn't you wouldn't come into the Maryland, Virginia area? No, you have to come. So you know why I'm rushing. So text okay, me right okay. away, okay? Okay. All I right, appreciate okay. it. How did you know I'm online? <laughs> I, just, I just forget. Okay, God bless you. All right, I'm picking the last caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello. Yes, I can speak up. I'm, I'm time. I'm running. Hello. Yeah, good morning. It's good morning. It's good afternoon in England, America. How are you? Can you speak up, sir? Please, can you speak up, sir? Hello. I'm doing well. You are doing well. Yeah, I'm doing well right I, I think that I'm, I'm running. Right. And hello. Yes, I'm hearing yeah. you, sir. I'm doing well. I'm doing hello. Well. Let me pray for you. I'm not yeah. hearing. Father, bless this caller. Show him mercy. Whatever he was about to tell me, do it for him. In the mighty name of Jesus. May your week be good. May your man be good. May the rest of the man in the year be, be a blessing. May your ground favor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'm sorry. I'm running. I'm rushing because I have to go. So wherever you are, anytime or come on air, I give the opportunity to sow a seed. That is a willing seed. It's not by force. Uh, because every good man of God might preach the gospel after that, demonstrate the power of God, then give the opportunity to a seed. Uh, so this is my number 0244 093032. I'm not being rude, forgive me. I'm going to preach. I have first service in the morning and I close very late and I still have evening service now. So I'm going to finish with the Atlanta, Georgia program right away. So the address is on the screen. If you want to connect with us, you can connect right away. So I'm going. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. All my team, my handlers in Africa, God bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. If today is your first time connecting with us, you can take my number and you can call tomorrow or you can call later. You can call tomorrow. You can call. Somebody's calling. Caller. Caller, let me sign off and call me later, okay? Please, I'm going. Hello? Hello, sir. Let me, let's talk later, okay? I don't have enough time at all, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I'm also engineer. I'm a mechanic. You're a mechanic. The Lord bless you, okay? So let's connect again, okay? Thank you so much. I love you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right. So I'm going. So you can call me later. You can leave an SMS. Anytime I come your way, I tell you that the best is yet to come. And there's one cardinal thing that is so important to me. I always lead you to Jesus. Can you say this after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. Forgive me of all my sins iniquities and transgressions. Write my name in the book of life. If you have said this, you are new born again. I want you to get a Bible, grab a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, Google a Bible, New Living Translation, NIV. Start reading from Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon. Start reading from Matthew, Luke, Mark, John, and the God that visited some of us and changed our life and continuously has held us up it will change your life. One day I will tell you my story and you will know that it is only Jesus that can make you a champion. No power on earth, in the north, in the east, in the south, in the heavens or on earth or beneath the earth or in the atmospheric elements can make you a champion. Get closer to Jesus. If you're a young man of God, if you're a man of God watching me, be pure, live pure, be righteous, humanly possible, be consistent, be bold and believe in your covenants that before the end of the tunnel, there'll be light. I bless your life this week. I favor you this week. Give me a better amen and an emoji. I bless you and I season you. I decree and I declare that your seed will not die in the ground. I decree and I declare that favor is your name, favor is your portion. I decree and I declare that your celebration time has come. I decree and I declare that your child will not die. I decree and I declare that what belongs to you shall not be sabotaged, shall not be taken, shall not be thwarted in the name of Jesus. I pray that the sky will favor you. The best of the sky and the element of the sky will favor you. I pray that the grounds and the element of the ground will favor you. I pray that in the atmospheric elements, it shall also favor you. 
I decree and I declare that invisible entities and bodies will favor you. I decree and I declare that bodily entities shall also favor you. You are above and you are not beneath. You are blessed and you are protected. You are heavily protected and defended. The physical will be a blessing unto you. The physical will not be disadvantaged unto you. I decree and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that let them be cursed, they that curses you in secrecy and open. I decree and I declare, let them be destroyed, they that seek your destruction. I decree and I declare, even as a servant of the Most High, as a caretaker of a temple of the living Jesus, that they that seek at your life shall flee in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bless your life. 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 Whatever you have been believing God for over the years, those of you who are believing God to travel abroad to America, to France, to Europe, to UK, in the name of Jesus, to Asia, let the mantles of traveling be released. Let the grace be released in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. Open doors now. Open doors now. Open doors now. Use the emoji and receive my prayers. Open doors now in the name of Jesus. They'll call you. That phone will ring. That phone will ring. That phone will ring. That phone will ring. There's somebody you are in the room. The Lord is telling me you are praying. You are praying. You are praying. God is telling me that a year by this time it shall be done. What you are said about you will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I bless your life. Man of God, the church will do well. The church will do well. I see doors opening. I see doors opening. The Lord seizing you. But the oil upon my head be seasoned. Till I hear from you again, till you connect with me again. There will not be any harm. There will not be any hurt. Psalm 91, it said, I, the Lord, I'll keep angels charge over you. And it said that your tents, no harm, no place shall come into your tent. May that be your portion. Psalm 91, verse 6, it said, a thousand shall gather, ten thousand shall gather, but it shall not come near you. It's only your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked. Let it be your portion in the name of Jesus. I bless your going, I bless your coming. Your basket is blessed. You do little and have plenty. You will do little and have plenty. Receive the God of plenty. Receive the God of multiplication. Receive the God of increase in the name of Jesus. Darkness will disappear. Darkness will disappear. Darkness will disappear. Darkness will disappear. I see the Lord giving three women babies. Three women you are connecting. There are people who are connecting. You are believing God for the food of the womb. I see the angel of God giving babies. Receive it right now. Receive the babies. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. The Lord cover you. The Lord shield you. May your forehead be stronger than your enemies. May heaven be your defense. May heaven be your defense. I bless Ghana. I bless Africa. I bless America. I bless everybody in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for your for the life of my viewers, my listeners, those who are connected. God bless you. So I remain your brother, your servant, uh, Nigel Gazy. You can call me PNG for sure. The Lord said, tell them, giftings are being released. Giftings are being released. Giftings are being released. In Jesus Christ's name. So I'll catch you up again. Tomorrow I'll come. When I cross over to Texas, if Jesus tarries, I'm a prophet. See, plans can change. Me, I live by the Spirit. When the Spirit says, don't go, I don't go. Plans can change. But so far as that, I'm almost done with Atlanta. The land of Atlanta, thank you. All the fathers of faith in Atlanta, God bless you. Uh, Bishop Dr. Ofori, Ofosu Apia, all nations, God bless you. My father, Jesus Abrante, God bless you. Apostle Fifi, God bless you. To all the men of God, God bless you. If you, are, if you know any man of God that you want me to be a blessing to their church or their, it's not about money. Of course, after preaching, definitely you bless me because, but the money is not my first focus. My first focus is to help with a gift upon my life, the man upon my life, to revive the body of Christ. So I salute all the men of God. I thank God for all of your life. To my crew in Africa and to all of you online, I love you. Without you, I'm nobody. Talk about this platform to your friends. Talk about this platform to everybody. And tomorrow, 10 to 12, there'll be Jabez Cry. Tuesday, there'll be Jabez Cry. And within that week, we're going to have five days fasting and praise. I love you so much. David, I miss you so much. Uh, Felicia Cranton, I'll see you soon in Maryland. I love you so much. So the number you want to swear, see, you can show 0244 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0
I'll call you back. I promise you. I have all the time for you. If you call me, I don't pick. My phone is always on silence. And I'm dealing with sore throat. I'm dealing with sore throat. So I'll be fine. The Lord bless you. And also keep me in your prayers, okay? I'll be appreciative anytime you pray. You pray for me that the Lord will show me mercy. Hold me up and even open doors for me. Thank you so much. Uh, Moses, God bless you. I see that God bless you. Ghana is proud of you. God bless you. And keep safe, prophet of God. Thank you. I'm also proud of Ghana. And I'm a Ghanaian. Wherever you are, I'm your own. God bless you. So I'm out. If I said something that you feel offensive, it's the word of God. Take it in good faith. Those of you who must repent. After I've gone off, uh, I wanted to repent. Maybe he said something about a man of God. He said something about a church. Maybe he didn't handle the things of God well. I want you to repent and know that Jesus is coming soon. So if you're in America, I want you to know that this is my address. I want you to connect with me. Also for Richard, God bless you. Thank you so much. So I'm out and I'll see you again as a lonely. You are the best. I've missed you. Today I rushed, okay? A lot of calls have come. A lot of course I would have come, yeah. But I'm rushing to go and preach. I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach to Paul. I do your boy. Thank you. Because people, I love you. I miss you. You are annoying me. You are very annoying, but I'm forgiving you. Today, the Lord told me whilst I was coming that anybody who has offended me, I should forgive. So, because people are forgiving all of you. All of you who annoy me. Yesterday, all of you annoy me, and I call to bless you in Ghana. I'm forgiving you. I hold nothing against you. To my team, you are wonderful people. Don't forget. Those of you in Africa, Ghana, get ready. Get ready. They are calling me. <laughs> Papa, I'm on Facebook like maybe SAC and Pacho. Remember SAC and Pacho. Thank you, sir. Pacho. Me, you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Unya, time as soon. 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 Hey, now me do my bread woman near my bread. I have no option. Awesome. I have no option. Awesome. That is why if you are there as a man of God, you have to prepare. To the young guys, you have to read the word of God, study the word of God. Get your notes, get your diary. You see, I have diaries. So I prepared my messages, a lot of messages. So, like you see, I just woke up, blah, 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 blah. So as uh, it's a time or so. So, people of God, time or so. <laughs> me go preach it. I shall come about deliverance. I am not in service. It's your software, me don't. Yen your back, what is said, I let a phone, I back on up. Now, yen push the Ghanaian church. Yen push the Ghanaian flag. Uh, maybe you might not like my nose, but like the oil upon my life. My life. Maybe you might not like the way I do my things. Maybe I might also not like you. But there's a common thing that joins us together. That is Christ. And for me, that's the most important thing. So I love you. We'll meet again. I have to go. I wish you well. I wish you Jesus. I wish you a pleasant week. It's going to be a good week. You're not going to die. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Know that I'm always praying for you. I love you. And watch this. Know that you have some. And I'm, an, I'm your intercessor. I am praying. Me, I pray for all of you. Okay? So you get your testimony. Know that the best is here to come. And I'd love to hear from you. You can send me an inbox on Nigel Gazi or Prophet Nigel Gazi. Or you can call the Ghana line. We'll take it from there. You can call the U.S. line. I'll pick. I love you. I'm out. God bless. Okay, so we'll have the benefit of America. So this is America. All right. This is America. All right. So this is America. You see, in Ghana, they've depleted the whole place. So this is America. So this is America. You know, this is America. This is America. All right. So enjoy. That's America, you know. It's a beautiful place. One day I know you'll be here. I know you'll be here. Keep on keeping. Because that's we dreamt. We kept believing. And God has brought us here. And just the beginning. I'll catch you up again. I'm Nigel. God bless. Bye.